and and maybe I was also aware of it, but didn't want to because I was afraid it was going to have a negative impact on the actual game then. Sure, sure. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot of complicated uh, philosophical uh, things like that. Yeah. I mean, you can reflect it to death. Sure, sure. Um, but I mean, it's really interesting to, to sort of hear yeah, how complex it is for a sort of top you know, sportsman, f- f- footballer. Just because we're slightly, not running out of time, but I'm conscious you've only got an hour, which is very kind. I just wanted to m- maybe just move on to the the title winning season. Now, you, you, you got a run in the first team, didn't you? He, um, I think David De Gea maybe started that season 12-13 as the first choice, but he he then, Ferguson dropped him and, and, and you came in, that's correct, isn't it? And you played a sort of string of games up to a game, I think I mentioned the other day actually, which was, the 1st of December 2012, which is a 4-3 win at Reading. So, it, you know, if I'm correcting what I say, I'm just wondering what you recall about that. Did you feel like this is your big chance? Because I, me- I remember it at the time. It, he basically, you know, he, he, he as, as I remember, anyway, Ferguson gave you a chance, didn't he, to be, to be the number one? For sure. Yeah. For sure he did. He was, he, Ferguson was extremely fair to me. Very, very, um, very honest. Very transparent, right? You know, he he said he said it as it was, um, and and yeah, I, I I and I got the chance the season before that as well. Yes, in uh, yeah. Savage's first season, um, up until I got my ankle injury, I had a really bad injury on my ankle, which I never really recovered from. Yes, to this day. Yes, um, and on the morning of the training where I got that injury, Eric Steele came. <coughs> excuse me. It's okay. Eric Steele came o- over to me in the, in in Carrington. I was sitting having my breakfast, and he said, uh, "The the gaffer is very happy with you, and you're doing really well." And and I was doing really well. I was playing really well. I was on the top of my game, and I, you know, I was solid. I started having the saves I should have, and. The, the game with my feet was working as it should. I mean, I, were, I was in the top five, top at least top ten in Europe at the time, playing playing football with my feet for goalkeeper. Yes. Very, very high level. Um, and he came over to me and said, yeah, you're doing amazing. Your manager's very happy with you. You're going to play the rest of the season Premier League. Wow. And uh, David is going to play, play Europa League. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was thrilled. I was happy. Went out, made a... Silly, silly exercise. Uh, had to jump up and punch a ball over a mannequin, and I got my foot stuck in the mannequin oh, and right. twisted the ankle. Right. And I was laying there on the ground, and I just started crying. Oh. I, I, you know, I could see my whole world falling apart right in front of me. Oh, nice. And um, and yeah, so so I was out for the rest of that season, and then next season coming, I um started off with the team the the pre pre uh, season games went well but I was not fit I couldn't I could literally couldn't jump off my right foot right. I, my kicking was horrendous it was it was uh, at the at the best it was just bad for premier league level mm. for, and premier league level at that time was pretty pretty bad you know mm. and um and yeah but I was not I was not mature enough and I was not brave enough to say listen my ankle is not right. I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to get off the pitch and get this right before I can. Uh, I can play a part here. Yes. But I was not brave enough to do that, and and I knew that it was very close between David and I, and I knew the manager had a really good eye to me, and I knew that that if David did, he had a very short lease uh, before I would get the chance, mm. and. Uh, I got the chance. The first game was Southampton away. I think we won 3-2 and I had a string of games. Yes. I don't know, five, six games or something like that. And then came the Reading game. It was it was um, before the Manchester City game away, I think. That's right. And we, won, we won 3-2. I played another terrible match. And, uh, and, um, and yeah, and he dropped me for the Manchester City match. And it, I remember he came up to the to me at the boss, and he he said it to me the day before, and I I kind of knew it already right. that this was was from, and, and you know I was almost relieved that he did it because then I could focus a little bit on uh, 
trying to get my angle right. Yes. And um, and then uh, yeah. So so that that was it. And then I played another couple of of, uh, of games at the end of the season. I played the famous last game of Ferguson's. Uh, yes. Career which I don't want to talk about because that was another terrible okay. game I played. Okay, fair enough. Um, but, but may I ask, you, so, you, you, with that appearance there, you, you made the 10th ten, ten Premier League appearance, so you got a, a, a winner's medal. I'm asking this question completely out of respect, with respect, but just because you say like you got injured and you weren't yourself, did you feel, was it good to be, to be that champion? I mean, I, I you know, you, you deserved yeah, it, but yeah, I, I'm just wondering. Know, how, it, yeah. It was, no, don't worry, Jamie. It was, it was, it's amazing to win a Premier League winner's gold medal. Yes. I don't want to change it for anything in the world. Right. You know? It's, uh, I'm super proud of it. But I was not the champion of that team. Right. I was, it was not, it was not me who won that title. <laughs> I mean, I'm, a, I'm aware of that. I mean, I'm aware that, that in the, great history of Manchester United and all the great players who's been there I'm a fucking fart in the wind <laughs> not really but I hear what you're saying <laughs> yeah you, you know yeah yes. there, there's a lot there's a lot of players that's been even tinier farts than me but <laughs> but you know uh, in the in the great and please don't use that as a of course as a head I won't I, no I won't do I promise no uh, uh, Daily Mail is probably going to use that as a head title <laughs> but um, but I'm I'm aware of that I'm not uh, I'm not disillu- disillusioned. I know I'm I know that my role in the club of that history is insignificant in in compared to to some of the great players being there. Yes, I still play the role. I um, you know, at the end of it. At the end of it, I I did what I was brought in to do. Yes. If you look at it cynically from the from the club's point of view, in terms of investment and blah de blah de blah, you know, I came in, I gave some, um, I gave some, uh, um, you know, some safety to that change from Edwin van der Sar. Yes. When David wasn't playing well the first season, I was. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, I I did what I was meant to do. I played 25 games for the club, uh, which which was the number of games I had to play for a, a clause to uh, to, ble- to be um, activated in the in the deal they made with the Norwegian club. Right. So so I did what you know. I probably did what was a, what what was expected, yes. but I didn't do what I dreamt to do. You know. Mm. Yes. Um, that is something, obviously, something I've, I've spent a lot of time and energy of of um, reflecting on and trying to to ask myself what could have been different and what what was it, and without letting it, you know, take over my life as mm. life goes on. Yes. But um, but what I've concluded is that 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 Anders Lindegaard on a hundred percent could make a difference on that team when when I was fit and when I didn't have the issue with my ankle which I still have mm. me on a hundred percent could do a difference and was good enough mm. but as soon as I started dropping to 95 or 90 percent it would show because mm. I wasn't good enough to go through even the Premier League games against Syria teams mm. on 90 percent that that was not enough. It was not enough for me to uh, to to bring ninety percent to that table. I had to bring a hundred percent. And uh, and as soon as I dropped to ninety, I dropped to eighty, I dropped to seventy. I probably even dropped to sixty percent. God knows how much I dropped with the injury and mm. and I had a lot of chaos in my personal life as well, yeah. in my private life, which mm. which was probably more significant than the injury itself. Mm. Mm. Um, then I couldn't deliver a hundred percent, and uh, you had a lot of players there 